Hi guys, my name is Joffrey and today we're going to talk about the expedition of Ferdinand Magellan to the Far East which led to the quote-unquote discovery of the Philippines. So first and foremost, let's try to learn who was Ferdinand Magellan. Ferdinand Magellan was a Portuguese navigator who served under the King of Spain. So what were the reasons why Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese navigator, would serve under the King of Spain? Practically, there were two reasons. First is that he was charge of legal trade and second, King Manuel I laughed at his idea of navigating westward. So why does King Manuel I laugh at Ferdinand Magellan's idea of navigating westward? Well, you have to remember during those times, during the 15th century, they believed that the earth is flat. Hence, to navigate westward, which is like this, would be impossible. So what Ferdinand Magellan did is that he went to Spain and offered a service to King Charles I, later known as the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V, which was the uh, King of Spain. So he made two proposals. First is that he would find Molucas Island, or Spice Island, and second is that he would find a route from the west that would exit to the east. So why does both Spain and Portugal are in dire need to find Molucas Island? You have to remember guys, that during those times, uh, the most lucrative business is spice trade. Uh, to quote Teodoro Goncillo, uh, it was designed to please the discriminating taste of the Europeans. <clears throat> Second is that he would find a route from the west that would exit to the east, which is practically navigating westward. The same uh, proposal he made to King Manuel I of Portugal. So why does King Manuel I laugh at Ferdinand Magellan's idea of navigating westward and it was accepted by King Charles I? Well, you have to remember during those times that the earth is divided by a demarcation line. By... Virtue of Treaty of Tordesillas, later the Treaty of Tordesillas was replaced by the Treaty of Saragossa, which states that anything in the West belongs to Spain, anything in the East belongs to Portugal. So Spain, which is located in the uh, West, could not go directly to the East because that would be a clear violation of the demarcation line. So they have to find a route from the West that would exit to the East. So uh, what uh, King Charles I uh, did is that he... Uh, funded the uh, navigation or expedition of Ferdinand Magellan by providing him of five ships, namely Concepcion, Victoria, San Antonio, Santiago, and Trinidad. And he was also provided of 270 men, 40 of which were Portuguese because uh, Ferdinand Magellan is a Portuguese, having the name of Preño Magallanes in Portugal, and in Spain he is called Fernando Magallanes. So from San Lugar, Barameda, Spain, they went to Seville, Spain, and they started to navigate on September 20, 1519, uh, navigating westward in the Atlantic towards uh, South America. But uh, Santiago, the ship of Santiago was lost in the storm and San Antonio had to go back to Spain. But they uh, continued to navigate westward and they reached Guam on March 6, 1521, where Ferdinand Magellan met the uh, Chamorro natives or the Chamorro tribes, which later stole some of their supplies. That is why Ferdinand Magellan um, uh, named uh, Guam as Isla de Ladrones or Island of the Thieves because of the uh, thievish propensity. So from Guam, they continued to navigate until they reached the Philippine soil, to be exact, in Homonon Island on March 16, 1521. Uh, but there are other books that would say it was on March 17, 1521. So which is which? March 16, 1521 or March 17, 1521? Well, both are correct because one must be reminded or one has to remember that when a navigation starts from the west going to the east and you cross the international date line, you have to add one day. And uh, Ferdinand Magellan, the expedition of Ferdinand Magellan crossed the international date line near Guam. So practically, they, some historians added one day. So the question here is that was there a discovery of the Philippines? Because there are other historians that would claim there's no such thing as discovery of the Philippines, for the Philippines was never lost. In fact, as early as 13th century, the Philippines were making trade in China or making trade with the Chinese people. Or Chinese people would go uh, to be exact in Mindoro to trade golds. Because during those times, Mindoro is rich in gold, owning the name Mindoro. Uh, derived from the two Spanish words mina de oro, three Spanish words mina de oro, which means mine of gold. Now, as to whether the Philippines has been discovered or not is largely based on how you view it. 
But if you have, nevertheless, if you have questions regarding histories, feel free to send me a message on my uh, Gmail. It's Soxai88 at gmail.com. Uh, I'll be creating more blogs regarding histories in general and Philippine history. Again, my name is Joffrey and have a nice day.